Welcome along to AFL Round 4 with uh, Mark Dragosevich, former Richmond superstar. I'm giving him that because the Tigers are three from three and uh, Dragos in form in our Centibet AFL tips. And if you want the latest odds, head to centibet.com because this weekend, Friday, Saturday games, absolute super. Maybe yeah. Sunday wake me up when it's all over. Yeah, pretty much. And those teams that, you know, 0-3, some of those teams, they're going to have to win. But uh, massive Friday night. The Swannies. SCG, Sydney Swans taking on Geelong. Both teams unbeaten. Swans were fabulous in the second half and so too were the Cats. In fact, both of their last uh, couple of games, both teams have been great second half teams. Who wins and why this time around? I think the Swans will win just the fact that the Cats have had three hard-fought games. The Swans only needed to play a quarter against the Kangaroos, I think, and the SCG. Yeah, uh, I think... Look, I'm worried about the SCG factor to an extent for the Geelong side, but I'm also worried about the slow start from the Sydney side. If they give Geelong a slow start... They're not the side to run down yeah, like the others that they've played. Exactly right. So I think they'll be switched on now. They've just they're going like this. So. Speaking of hard games of football, well Hawthorne have gone uh, the West Coast and then Collingwood, and now they've got to do it up against Fremantle, who are up and running for ninety nine point nine percent of the game against Essendon. I think they'll bounce back against the Hawks. Tell me how Fremantle lost that game. Oh, they, they had it in the bag. Um, they just stopped. Uh, the work rate picked up. And uh, for me, the Hawks, uh, that scintillating play, 12 seconds from full well, back to full. I, went, I think I went outside to do something, came back 20 seconds later, and it was gone from two points to 25 points. Yeah, you can't just you can't help but be impressed by the way they blew out a side like Collingwood in a quarter and a half. Can your boys beat Collingwood? This is their best chance in five years. So I'm, uh, I'm since definitely... Since you were playing. <laughs> since a long time. So uh, I'm, I'm actually going to tip the Tigers. I think Collingwood, they're going to lose Jolly again. And yeah. Beams, I don't think, will be ready. If he does, he'll be underdone. Richmond's midfield will actually have the edges on. I think they've just got the mojo. They, they, they sort of proved to me last week that they're actually a real dominant side. And yeah. as opposed to the first two games, you could argue that they might have just fallen over the line. This one was dominant. Collingwood, Essendon, Collingwood's letting big scores in too. Essendon should beat St Kilda. They should, but I think it's a danger game. Uh, a lot of emotion went into that game last week. Port and Gold Coast, very quickly. Port Adelaide for mine. West Coast, Carlton. And two more injuries to West Coast and Cruiser as well, but I think West Coast at home. OK, and then the Sunday games. Melbourne, GWS, flip of the coin. Adelaide should beat the Western Bulldogs. North versus Brisbane. North Melbourne have to win. Let's have a look at Dragger's tips. So on the screen they are. He likes the Swans, Hawthorne, Richmond, all the home teams. Essendon, Port Adelaide and West Coast in the Saturday night games. And then on the Sunday games, he likes all the three home teams. Promises to be a fabulous weekend of footy. AFL round four. Who will remain unbeaten after this round? Head to centibet.com for all the greatest and latest odds.